friends so today episode i will tell you how to styling shape file from qgi so end of this video you can learn all the thing that can be used for styling and labeling and classifying this shape file so make sure to subscribe and be with us so i have opened two layers which is contour layer is a line layer and point layer here so first i will work with control layer so now you can see one color which is purple color and contour set so when you move cursor you can see there are some values so i will show you how to classify it so right click on the contour properties style so you gonna learn all of, all the stuff of within this single symbol first so in under single symbol so i will just show you what are the types no symbol single symbol categorized graduate and rule based so single symbol here first you can change this line color from here apply and line width if i increase it you can see the line width have increased right so here you can have a offset for this line you know what offset mean is i'm going to have this much of offset now you can see they have building offset for my lines i put zero and pen style if you want dash or dot line you can here choose the line type i'll show me then you can here you can see dot line so right so here you can change join style and cap style there are three in here also three types you can change this using the three different types so here you can adjust the transparency of this layer so you saw that and now i'm going to jump into uh, line type so here you can see sample line underline under single symbol so i'm going to do arrow you can see the path or lines are now arrows and here under arrow you can change head type single double single reversed i will show you one double right and also arrow type plain type left right half i will show you one by one this is one half left one half and here with an arrow with the start head leg thickness offset basic adjustment you can do here so i'm going to change arrow type to marker line so if you want some marker through line i will apply then you can see it how so here my line and it shows as a uh, markers not dotted line so you can choose dotted line on a line type i previously uh, show you uh, here you can change the interval so if we if i increase the interval sorry the number of dot and path you can see change so i'm going to decrease this and here also adjustment for the markers line so i'm going to change to here 
geometry generator so in this case you need to know this expression based on this expression we are going to uh, change the line style so in this episode I'm not going to talk about expression so I'm going to sample line making like here now I'm going to show you categorize method in categorize method you need to choose column here right and the symbol here you can use previously mentioned all the thing under the uh, the symbol selector options so I am using default one and here you need to add values so click on classify then you can have all the values for under this elevation column and you can use color ram in color ram this from here so and now also you can use manually adjust these colors and type of line double clicking this and this will be displaying your legend then you can change it also using double click right so here transparent and all the other thing is basics so i am going to apply now you can see based on the this column here it categorized so if you have more than one column you can use any column to this here you can use expression tools for this categorization now i'm going to show you graduated here you can classify based on different modes so these are like previously talked elevation symbol default it's okay then i color okay uh, here legend format it is default you we use this one uh, color and size for method so that's mean uh, we are going to display based on color so here therefore we can change the color ram as we previously discussed and here classify mode uh, equal interval natural breakers standard deviation pt breakers there are different type of method so based based on this mode the classification will be varied so i am going to have cl five classes and click classify so under this column using this method number of this much class have classified one two three four five so i will go i'm going to change the color and apply you can see the difference now i'm going to change the mode standard deviation number of class five but you can see one two three four five six seven here the class uh, number of classes and these are much and less from the deviation okay. different right so like price you can change the uh, mode of classification so now I'm going to show you how to label these click on the label and here first one show labels for this layer active and label with here you need to do select the column elevation column so I am going to apply this you can see labels are displayed so you can edit this label also here text type uh, text size color transparency basic editing you can do here and more than that you can have editing more than that you can have buffer also here if i use yellow color check it i have a background color for color and here transparency we can adjust it and we can have shadows backgrounds if you have background you can use rectangle square ellipse any type of background 
for this one. So I have already buffered it. Fill color blue. Black. You can see ellipse shape background display. So and you you can you can have shadows on this and placement so that's mean we are uh, this label place parallel to curve horizontal I will use curve you can see it is get a shape of curve so you can change label type with that so that's how you can categorize classify and label the shape file so if you learn something please subscribe and share goodbye